guys, Ronnie Chavez here for a tricking tutorial. I wanted to teach you guys the bee twist. Now if you checked out my butterfly kick tutorial, this trick is going to use that same trick as the bass, so be sure to check out that tutorial first so you know what I'm talking about. But just to kind of review it, what you want to do when you first start doing the bee twist is you're going to do the exact same setup as the butterfly kick, where you're going to sweep your chest low to the ground and you're going to bring it up as you go into the set of the trick, as you do the jump. At the same time, you're still gonna kick that leg and you're still gonna throw your arms. The only difference is, is once you reach your peak, you're going to then continue swinging your arms this way to go into the twist. So the whole motion, you're swinging your arms up, kicking this leg, and then as you jump to leave the ground, you're gonna pull your arms the direction you're turning into a twist so you're kind of flipping over your shoulders. So if you have the butterfly kick down, this trick, there isn't a lot more to it except for the twist over, but what makes it hard is getting the timing down for when you reach the set and start going into the twist. Because if you start going into the twist too early, then you're not going to get enough height and lift to land on your feet. If you go into the twist too late, then you're not gonna get enough twist um, to make a full bee twist. It's also important that you get the balance between your kicking leg and the lift of your arms and chest, that those are equal as you go set into it. Because if you kick too hard with your leg and you're not bringing your chest up enough, then it's gonna throw you into an aerial twist, which is a little bit different. It's a similar move, but it's just a different axis you're rotating on. If you get too much lift in the chest and not enough kick and inversion with the leg, then you're gonna end up just doing kind of a, a spin, a 360 or whatever. So it's important that you get that horizontal plane where you're parallel to the ground, and then twist, and then land out of it. When doing this trick off ledges, you have a little bit more room for the angle you can take off of because you have a little bit more space to land it, but the same technique applies. But with the additional drop, you still have some extra cushion room to get the trick around even if you don't have perfect technique. This trick can also be landed in a couple different ways. So whatever your taking off leg is, you can land on that same leg. So you're going to do the twist over and it's like the leg you're jumping off of is basically going to just kick all the way around you. You could even keep that leg straight the whole time as you get better at this trick. The other way is just to land with both feet landing backwards. thumbs up if you like this tutorial and be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.